Hi, I'm Sean Arnold, and this is another brief, brave attempt in learning. Hey there, I'm Sean Arnold, and we're going to be exploring how you can save and import worlds in Minecraft Education Edition. There is no save button in Minecraft, and there is no undo either. If you happen to set off some TNT and blow up what you were working on, well, you've just made a mess that you've got to clean up, same as your Legos. There are some workarounds, though. You can save yourself a few headaches by planning in advance. Just head to the settings of your world, scroll on down, and select Export World. Now you can export it to either an online drive or to your desktop. You can edit it with the student's name and the date. I recommend exporting it between almost every session that your students are doing, so the most they ever lose is one class worth. Similarly, you can just copy the world. You'll find it renamed as a copy there in your world files, and you can go ahead into settings and just give it a new name. Importing a world means you're getting the file from somewhere on your device. It uses .mc world files, which are common to the Bedrock edition of Minecraft. You can either import one of those previous worlds you exported yourself, sort of like a save maneuver, or you can import a world that somebody else somewhere created for you. But if you don't need it, you can delete it. Remember that all of that is found in the settings area of My Worlds. So don't forget to be exporting or copying your worlds to save yourself those headaches and make your Minecraft experience that much more enjoyable and easy to do. Thanks so much for joining me, and if you found it helpful, like, subscribe, and check out any of the other Minecraft education videos here. See ya!